Honestly, that's about the best I can do. I can need to do something about my eyebrows. I need probably need to like pluck them or something because they're looking a little bit wild. Just makes your skin look better, you know? Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Squally AK Squally Bear 13 and in today's video we are going to be doing makeup. But it's a makeup tutorial for people who are either scared of makeup, think that it's just too much all at once, they just want to get into the, some very basics to make their skin look a little bit better. Or people that really don't want to fuss and make like make a fuss. Wow, this dumb f of like trying to find their perfect foundation match or anything else really, because all that you need for this, essentially, the basics of this, because there are a few extra steps involved, but they are all completely optional. So I mean, as you watch the video, you can decide whether or not you want to do those steps. But the only basic things you actually need are a primer, a green concealer, and a like pressed powder. Um, they are all that you really need. I mean, I would personally suggest a bronzer as well, but again, that is an optional step that you can decide later on as you watch the video if you want to use. So, yes, I've made this video very inclusive to anyone, and it's not like you have to buy this brand. It's you can buy whatever's available to you at your price range. So, again, very inclusive. Um, yes, that is basically all I need to say for the intro. Also, it's really hot and I'm starting to sweat. So, I hate summer. It's, it's, I hate it. Maybe I'll do a video on where, uh, why I hate summer, because there's like a few reasons to go into it. Okay, I mean, comment down below if you want to see that. Um, but anyway, yes, that is it. Let's just get into the actual tutorial bit. Okay, so, we're going to be doing this. Don't mind my hair. It's messy, I haven't done it yet. I normally do my hair after my makeup. So, this is what my face looks like. Without makeup. Okay, so the um, I'm going to be going over a couple of steps. The first step um, is the basic makeup of people that don't really want to get into loads and loads of makeup. So this is the only essential part to what I'm doing. But then there's some other parts to it just in case you want to add that little bit of, you know, pizzazz. So, we'll get into it. Yeah. Um, so, the first bit, which is the crucial step, is the primer. You're gonna need a decent primer. Personally, myself, I have e.l.f. primer. You have the pink one and the green one. When you've chosen the primer you want, I'm going to be using the poreless one today because, you know, I fancy looking flawless. The Basically, you're just going to need a couple of squirts of that. And then, you're going to need... It's not going to focus, but a green colour correcting primer. So the one I'm using is the Collection Lasting Perfection Green Concealer. So you're just going to get, like, you have your little squirts of primer, and then you're just going to put it on your hand as well. So this is just very rudimentary, it will tone out any red tones you have in your face without you having to like put it on specific spots. If you have specific spots you want to cover, by all means you can just get a little tiny bit. I'll probably show you because I have a red mark on my nose and my forehead. So I'll do that as well, but this is just what you can do if you don't want to mess around. So you just mix it all into your skin. Before you do any of this, you're going to need to prep your skin with like a moisturiser. Okay. So, the next step you're going to need, after you've done that, is a powder. I am using, I don't even know how I try this, it never focuses, is the Stay Matte. Stay Matte by Rimmel London, and I just have like the translucent. So you're just going to get this, do do do, and put it in your skin. No shit. Because you're going to use this anywhere else, aren't you? Now, if you want, you can call it quits at this part. As you can see, my skin is already looking a little bit better than it was before. Uh, I'm going to continue. And if you're interested in what's next, it's 
bronzer. So this, if you have any fake tan or whatever, this will kind of make you look a little bit pale than you like the rest of yourself. So you're gonna wanna like tan it and make it look darker. I'm using the Collection Bronze Glow Matte. And you're just gonna wanna put it like in on your nose and like underneath your eyes in the areas you'd catch it most, like catch the sun most. So like when you tan these kind of areas that you tan first. Um, and then I put a little bit in my eyes because I have quite like uh, hollow deep set eyes. So I just like to accentuate that look. And then I get a little bit on my forehead going just to make myself look more tan. And then like just with the remnants, just like with all this area down here. So remember, as we're going along, any point that you'd be like, I'm happy with this step, you can stop. Because everything after the main stuff is all extra, but it's stuff I like to do. So I'm like, the minimum requirement were those first few steps, but now it's all just like stuff that I'd recommend if you really want to make yourself look flawless. But yeah, my redness only on my forehead is really showing. I mean, I'll show you what you do, because I'm that kind, you know? So you're gonna want to get to the end of this and just like, dot it on where you're feeling a little bit red. And then you can use a beauty blender or you can just take your finger and just like, press it in a couple times. Now I put on a little bit too much, if I'm honest, because I can't really see. I would never normally put this much on to the point where it looks kind of greenish. But you see what I mean? It's like that's already kind of van vanished. And then just powder it, you know? So this is something you do after your primer and your concealer, which is the first step. And look at that. It's already like decreased by like 10 times. Ta-da! Okay. So, next stage, which I like to do personally, is contour. Because, you know, I don't want no flat looking face. I want a face that looks defined and chiseled. <laughs> Never gonna look chiseled, but you know, it's chill. So, you're gonna wanna just like get a brush, put it in your thing. I'm using the Collection Contour Highlight and Sculpt. Apparently I have a lot of collection stuff. Collection Elf, they're my, my bays. Um, and then you just like, Put it underneath your cheekbones. I'm like trying not to get too much because I don't want to look too dark. And you blend it in all of the end, so if it's looking a bit dark, don't worry. And I like to put a little bit in my nose crease right now. I'm gonna go back in with a different brush in a second. Um, and then in your eye crease as well. Because, you know, you want those hollow, deep-set looking eyes that look real dark and mysterious, like... Also, I don't do any form of eye makeup, really, so... And then a little bit underneath your lip. I mean, you can do a little bit on top of your lip. To make your lips look a little bit bigger. And then you're just gonna wanna get in these corners on your forehead. Because, you know, no one wants a gigantic looking forehead and this will just make it look smaller. It's all optical illusions. That's like the beauty of makeup. It's just like magic on your face. It hides everything. It can make you look like a completely different person. So I love it. And I'm gonna put a little bit under here, but again, I'm gonna be going in with a different brush in a second day. So I'm using like this kind of brush, it's thin. So you can really get into like lines, but like I can't see that well here, so I'm gonna do it elsewhere, but you just like, you know, go into it. Okay, so at this stage, you're gonna be looking a little bit dark in some places. That's when you get your brush and you really go into it and blend it in. Blend. Blend it in. Cause you know, you want like this kind of look, not this kind of look. I'm gonna blend it with this. Cause again, I can't really see that well. So I mean, I'll be here doing it, you know? And whilst underneath the makeup, you'll probably still be able to see some blemishes. It just looks better than it was before, you know? So instead of looking red and patchy and spotty, you look like you have nicer skin and you have like tan stuff. <sighs> anyway, it's really hot. So I'm like starting to sweat through my makeup already and I want to cry. Because of how hot it is, I hate the warmth. I hate being warm. I like being cool. So 
and I'm good. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush through my eyebrows because they're looking a bit janky, so I'll be back in a second. Honestly, that's about the best I can do. I don't do anything to them, I just brush them through with like a brush, and that's like it. <laughs> a brush. No, not like kind of brush. But honestly, I can need to do something about my eyebrows. I need probably need to like pluck them or something because they're looking a little bit wild. Yeah. Then the kind of final step I do, because like the step after that is kind of mandatory, you should do it. No matter whether you're wearing makeup or not, you should always do it. But this one is very optional. It's because when you're powdering, sometimes the powder gets on your eyelashes and it can make them look a little bit faint, like a little bit lighter than they should. So I just get a mascara and go through it. I only really do my top eyelashes. That's about it, really. Um, and then, next, I get this thing that kind of looks like a torture device. You better stop! Stop! Um, and, you know, just like, get in there. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, the only other thing is lip stuff. You should always, always, always put stuff on your lips, because no one wants to kiss crusty ass dry lips, you know? Like, gotta make them look appealing. So I'm currently using Caramex. Normally, earlier on in the makeup routine, I like to go over it with my pot and then go over it with um, the tube, but I forgot. So, I mean, I'm just gonna do both now. You know, you can never have too much lip stuff. And then... Both of the ones I use are Caramex, because I absolutely adore the brand Caramex. So yeah, that's basically the face stuff done. Um, yeah. Just makes your skin look better, you know? Anyway, yes, that's it for the tutorial. Okay, so, please comment down below. Was the tutorial actually helpful for you? I mean, like, I made this to help people who aren't fussed on making a lot of makeup or like guys who are like just really aren't confident about going into like the makeup side but aren't happy with their skin because like I was there once myself like you know you're told from a young age oh guys can't do this guys can't do that guys aren't allowed to wear makeup that's for girls no no stupid makeup's for everyone slap anyone that tells you that because actually in the olden days men used to wear makeup and then women started wearing makeup and then it became only women. Same with actually high heels and dresses. All started off as things men would wear, but suddenly for some reason became things women would wear and guys shouldn't. Confusing, I know. But that's just history. That's enough of the history lesson. Anyway, back to the main point. Yes, if you really did enjoy this video, I mean, I hope you did. I hope you found it informative. And if not, I hope you enjoy my editing of my stupid face. If you did enjoy in any sense of the word, please like the video, it really helps me out. And yeah, if you're not already, subscribe because I make stupid, cringy videos like this all the time. And if you enjoyed it, then Maybe you'll enjoy the rest of my cringy videos. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yes. That is the end of the video. If you think someone else would enjoy this video, or any of my other videos, you know, I'm not just gonna make this one the only one that's a possibility. But please, please, please share my videos. Wherever, you know, on Twitter, with people personally, in direct messages whatever. And then you can also find me on social media as well. I'd love to be friends with all of you, you know? Um, yes. That is it. I really hope you did enjoy, because otherwise, what am I making these for, you know? <laughs> there was a hair flowing towards my face, and I was like, not on, not today, not on the face that I just finished, you know? We're not, we're not going there. Anyway, yes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I upload. I don't know what that was, but get out of here. Be gone. Bye. I'm so cringy. This is not okay.